I'm Travis Burnett, Practical Farm Research Agronomist with Next Hybrids. Welcome to another PFR report. Today we're seeding a cover crop study, and with me is Kent Cavender Bears. He's a CEO and co-founder of Robot Systems. Frequently I get the question of, you know, what's the best way for me to seed my cover crops? Should I do it with an aerial application with an airplane? Should I do it with a high clearance rig? Should I wait until after harvest and drill the cover crop? So we designed a study for 2017 to answer that very question. Kent, can you tell us a little bit about the robot system? Sure, I'd be happy to. And thanks for having us here today. So this is the robot. It's a small machine. It goes between rows of corn. Right now we're set up for 30 inch corn. And the reason we got into this was to help growers manage nitrogen as the crop gets taller. And that includes seeding cover crops that can be quite helpful in nitrogen management later in the season. I uh, started the business with my two brothers. Uh, Charlie's a large-scale dairy farmer in western New York, and John's one of the world's leading robotics experts. Uh, my background, I started in ag engineering years ago, wanting to design large farm equipment. When we got into studying the issue around nitrogen management, we realized that the majority of growers don't put nitrogen on during the season, even though it's widely understood to be a best practice. And the challenge is that corn grows really tall, really fast. So we came up with this idea, well, what happens if we go small, we go between the rows? Uh, that opens up all kinds of opportunities. We're, we're laser focused on helping growers with nitrogen management, but as you can see, a small platform like this could do a lot of other work, uh, plant protective chemicals, uh, et cetera. So that's what, that's what got us here. Right now we're set up in cover crop seeding mode. It sounds like it's a pretty versatile machine there that can do a lot of different things in agriculture. So to recap what we're doing here today, we're, we're going to be comparing a uh, simulated aerial application uh, compared to the robot application compared to a drilled application after the crop's been harvested. Stay tuned for updates with this throughout the year. We're going to be doing some biomass readings, different things throughout the year to compare the establishments to cover crops and look for the results in 2017's PFR book. Thanks for watching.